Liverpool versus Manchester United, Anfield. Wow, massive game. I love going to Anfield. I love going there, especially when you won. The atmosphere, they used to hate us. We used to hate them. But listen, it was a game filled with emotion. Two cities, rivals. This is what it's about. This is what football's about, man. So, but you have to pay respect to this Liverpool team. What they're doing now is unprecedented. It's, they're breaking down new barriers. They're setting new rules in this game. Just like my old Man United team did. Just like Mourinho did when he came in. Um, this team, Klopp. Just like Pep done. This team under Klopp now are doing that and they're, they're doing it their own way. And they've got some fantastic players. The way they play, they go over you, they go around you, they go through you. They're quick, they're aggressive, they're aggressive with the ball. They're all physically able, they're all physically fit, can dominate their one-to-one -one battles. And these guys do it all. They do the hard part of the game, they, look, they win ugly, but they can split you open in an instance with a beautiful bit of play, a bit of intricate football. And then they've got people that are devastating in front of goal. And we all talk about the front three and you can't, there's, there's, what more can you say? There's pace there, there's guile, there's, there's a cohesion, there's an understanding. And as important as all that, there's a work rate, there's a work ethic behind that that sets the tone for everybody in that team. And they've got leaders like the likes of Henderson, Van Dijk, Milner. These guys are people that are leading this team. And listen, they've got it from everywhere, they've got it. You, Matip last year's centre half, he was there with Van Dijk all the way through, not fit this season. Gomez comes in, putting down performances. The two fullbacks, what more can you say? They're playing like wingers. They probably put in more balls into the box and create more chances and assists than most wingers in the game today. Um, and that tells you how attack minded and how much on the front foot this, this Liverpool team are. So they're a great team. I think Alisson do not undervalue the importance of this guy because a lot of the problems Liverpool had in the last couple of years was down to not having a consistent goalkeeper. He is Mr. Consistent. And the other man in that is Fabinho. What a sign he's been in front of that defence. Absolute stalwart in terms of stopping and sniffing out chances for the opposition in front of that back four. So listen, what more can you say? Van Dijk, immense, immaculate, supreme defender. Again, there's not much negativity I can say about this team. And what's important about this team is, and listen, as I know from winning titles in my time, what is of huge importance and what isn't spoke about often is your squad players, the people that come off the bench, the people that come in from the dark, from the wilderness, to put in performances and, and, and score goals. Origi is an absolute beacon of that, of what, what, what can be achieved through having people that can come in and play. Shakiri at times has done it. Lalana, these guys, Milner when he needs to, if he's not playing. These players can come in and produce performances, but also actually be integral in getting results. So Liverpool, yes, a great team. It's going to be difficult for Man United this weekend. Man United have got weapons. Man United have got players who can hurt this Liverpool team if they get the opportunity, if they get space. If Liverpool dominate in possession, you've seen that when teams dominate possession against this Man United team, that's when they're at the most dangerous. Because what does that mean? That means there's space behind to run into. That means there's space for these flying strikers Martial, Daniel James, Rashford. These guys run like the wind and if there's space to run into that's been left by the Liverpool defenders, these guys will exploit it. So I'm hoping Liverpool have possession, I'm hoping Liverpool dominate the game and I'm hoping that Manchester United exploit the space behind them because that's what they're best at.